All right, we just got done with our wedding. We had a fabulous time. The music was awesome. The up lights, I definitely recommend. They were great. The color accented the walls beautifully. Lighting besides ceremony was great. What do you think, babe? I love DJ Cut. What's going on? We're out here at the Crown Plaza getting ready to do a wedding for Amanda and Sean. I'm gonna take you inside, show you what we're faced with today. We have a huge ballroom, very nice. A little on the dark side, so we had to do some lighting to compensate for that. The other room is gonna be a ceremony. I'll show you our separate uh, ceremony setup. But after the ceremony is done, we're doing a cocktail hour in another part of the hotel. And so I'm gonna show you how we can kind of combine all those areas and make sure that we can go smoothly from one event to the next. So I'll take you inside right now and I'll show you what we're working with. All right, so this is where our cocktail hour is gonna be. So we're gonna have to go from the ceremony, which is over there, and then we're gonna do cocktail hour. We're gonna bring everybody out here, but we need to provide music. So we're gonna have a speaker set up over here and over in this area. So during cocktail hour, we have sound. They can hear us on the microphones, and that way we can make sure everything is organized, keep them on their timeline, and let them know when we're gonna go into the reception after the ceremony is done. So now we're gonna take you into the ceremony site and show you that. So we're gonna mic up the groom with a lapel, and we're also gonna mic up the minister with a lapel so nobody has any trouble hearing what's going on back here. Then I also have a handheld so I can make any announcements. A lot of times I will start the ceremony and the officiant will tell everybody to sit down or forget to remind them to turn off their cell phones so that way I can jump on the mic if I need to make any announcements. As soon as the ceremony is done, I can get on the microphone and give them directions. When, it, when this commitment is seriously made and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding of relationships. Amanda and Sean, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and all who are assembled here by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. All right, so I love working in the hotels in downtown Portland. But one of the biggest issue is lighting in these rooms. It's really bright, so we have to bring the overall house lights down. Uh, here's a clip from the Sentinel Hotel we did a couple weeks ago. They had up lights too, but they didn't have spotlights. So for this particular wedding, I got them to get these spotlights and it's gonna make the dance floor and the dance party look really good. One thing that's really cool about our up lights, if you notice in this general area, we don't have any power sources. The power sources is way over there. Our LED, so they don't get hot and they're battery powered so we can put them all over the place. When the reception and dinner starts, uh, we'll turn on all these up lights. We have 10 in this room. Up lights, probably about 80%, 90% of my clients add that to their package along with the spotlights and that can really, really make a huge difference. I got, I got my shoes on. Dude, look at those shoes. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Dude, no, stick out those shoes. We're good. Dude, those, those are epic. All right, so we have your photographers in there. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is when I bring you in, I'm gonna say a little something first. Then when, we, when you hear, as soon as you hear the song, you guys can walk in um, however you guys want to. Go to the dance floor, do like a little dance around for like 20 seconds, circle, hands up, look at the crowd, everybody cheers at you, just to give your photographers enough time to get all the pictures going around you. Then you guys go to your seats, and then I'll dismiss people for dinner. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing tonight? So, we were very classy over there, but now it's time to get kicked out of the neighborhood. So let's welcome, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Fields. I straggled the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. 
Everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. 